And welcome back to the Pokemon Team Creation Series. Uh, this one comes to us from Mission Palm Marshall. Asked the question, what is Gaito? I'm going to probably butcher the last name. Kuro-Uzu? As from Bunny Card Fights Pokemon Team. I've done one other character from this series before. I'm not familiar with it. There's a lot of card games out there. Uh, trading card games where you actually, you know, you fight and duel, I guess you could call it. Obviously, I'm very familiar with Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm very familiar with Magic. Duel Masters, I was I was familiar with. Um, but at this one, I was I did not know anything about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not familiar with it. Uh, that's not necessarily, honestly, weirdly enough, from the animation style, it actually reminds me a bit more Beyblade than it does of uh, like Yu-Gi-Oh! or anything like that. But um, no, that's not to say I can't figure something out for that. Uh, for this character. I did it for the last guy. I can do it for this one. So this character, Gaito... One second, I'm going to just uh, get that back up here. Gaito Kurouzu. I'm, again, I guess uh, is one of the three main protagonists of the future Card Buddy Fight Triple D and future Card Buddy Fight X anime. Yeah, apparently they had a lot of series, uh, this Buddy Fight Card uh, series. Um, he is commonly seen as rough and antisocial, treats other people... Um, uh, co uh, treats other people rather coldly, even when uh, even when someone tries to approach him with good intentions. Uh, he is uh, goes as far as severe obsession after, with winning and proving himself, um, and zero tolerance for dirty tactics. He's seen as misunderstood, and mistaken as a bad person, but that doesn't but and does not seem to care. But that's not the case. Uh, his buddy card buddy is called Black Dragon, Black Death Dragon, Abigail. Uh, and there was a couple other ones along the way. His world user, his style is Dr Darkness Dragon World, which involves um, is one of the playable worlds in the um, future uh, future card buddy fight. This world's theme mainly around dark creatures such as ghosts, demons, undead creatures, and evil dragons. The card frame is darker, purple colored version of the Dragon's World card theme, and generally involves dealing damage after taking damage or messing with your opponent's deck. Uh, so, how do I translate that into a Pokemon team? Well, let's get a few minor things out of the way here. I Evil Dragons, right out the gate, one came to mind was Hydreigon. But, I noticed that apparently the buddies can be in the real world, or very many of them are like dual spirits from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, where they can be interact. you can interact with them on some level and talk to them. And I saw a picture of him sitting with a little chibi version of a dragon. And so Dino actually came, or Dino came to mind. A uh, little dark dragon, a little adorable guy with a with a little, you know, mo mo top on top of his head there. Um, and I actually think this is actually not a bad rep uh, um, Pokemon for a character like this. I think this kind of works more in his favor. Um, now, this said, that doesn't mean he doesn't have stronger dragons on the team, particularly when talking about ghosts, an evil undead, things along those lines, and a darkness world dragon or darkness dragon world, you're gonna have dragons on the team. And Ghost Dragon, um, Dragon Bolt came to mind. I didn't want to go with Eternatus. I felt that seemed a little overpowered. And Eternatus, sorry, uh, Giratina, sorry. I didn't want to go Giratina, uh, even though he kind of is like a real depiction of evil dragon. I think the evil part of Giratina has always been a little misunderstood. I think he's just angry most of the time. Uh, but yes, ultimately, uh, I, I went with that. Now, you could probably trade that out for Giratina. I did go, though, with Eternatus. Eternatus struck me, honestly, strikes me kind of more as the evil dragon, at least in design. It's very just skeletal, otherworldly. It's a poison type. It nearly caused the darkest day. Its Eternamax form is a giant monster form with a hand. It, it strikes me more towards this type, especially when you're talking about also messing with your opponent's deck, which could be i.e. poisoning their deck. Um, <clears throat> so I liked those guys for the dragon aspect of it, but there's still three other Mon on the team to go with. When we're talking about Ghost, I felt that Dust Noir was probably the best option here. There's multiple Ghosts I could have gone with. I could have gone Sableye or Spiritune to match the dark part. But I wanted something that's just pure ghost. And while Dust Noir is not necessarily evil, it is a mon that's uh, said to take and eat souls. So there, there's that. So I like Dust Noir for that. B 
Beyond that, though, he's also, this character is also described as being somewhat of a rebel. And we have Scrappy for that. He's the tried and true representation of kind of like a punk, punk kid, rebellion, if you will, the Mohawk, all that. So Scrappy and being a dark type really helps love, uh, bring that to, um, uh, bring that to a head. Now, that said, though, there is still, um, there is still one mod on the team that I think I need, do need to explain it out a bit. So, because he deals with a lot of undead creatures, dark knights, things along those lines, I knew we were still going with that route, and that would be pretty much like the main crux of his team. However, wanting to be the best, like no one ever was, and to beat them is his real test, and to play with these guys is his cause. Uh, the fact the fact that we had that, I think... I, so, the last one to make it to the list was King Gambit. One who I've only recently kind of added to... Uh, added to um, uh, videos. Uh, with the Sephiroth video. Go see that video if you want to see how he played into that. But, I... King Gambit only comes about when A, the leader crest is being worn by a Bisharp, and B, when they've been able to beat the best, the leaders of other Ponyards and Bisharps. A Bisharp that's beaten Bisharps that lead other Bisharps, and has become the true best Bisharp, the true, the true king among them. And... Yeah, I, th I do think that makes sense. Um, a Pokemon that is striving to be the best uh, among all its peers would make sense for a person who's striving to be the best among their peers. Add on to the fact that it's still a dark type. It can represent being a dark samurai knight or whatever. Uh, and, and you have a mod I think does work on the team. <clears throat> now, is it a perfect fit? No, there's definitely mod you can interchange off of this. Is this a well-balanced team? Hell no. <laughs> this is actually a really unbalanced team. Uh, drastically unbalanced, as a matter of fact. This team gets totally wrecked by fairy types. The only, one who has, the only ones who have even any hope against the fairy type on this team are, to a minor degree, Eternatus because of the poison typing, and because it is strong against fairies. And Steel is strong against fairies, so King Gambit. Uh, Dust Noir is just neutral, all the rest of this team gets completely owned by fairies. Dragon types are another problem, because half this team is straight out weak to dragon as well. Uh, beyond that, I mean, dark types are kind of a problem for Dragapult and Dust Noir to a certain degree. And dark and bug types are a problem for a little bit of this team. But yeah, no, this team has a serious problem against fairy types serious as i think i stated in the last video i think i kind of read it like this it's struggle if a third of your team two pokemon are weak to the same type uh it's a problem if it, if half the team is weak to the same type it's a straight out weakness if at least four of the pokemon are weak to the same type and two of these mon get a times two weakness against the, against fairies so, yeah, fairies are a huge problem. Dragons are not much more help. And half the team is also straight out weak to ice because they're dragons as well, with no extra resistance. So ice is another problem for this team. Uh, so, yeah, now, granted, this team's actually pretty good against psychic types, pretty good against ghost types, not bad against dragons themselves. Uh, so there's definitely some upsides to this type of team, definitely. Uh, and if you fully evolve the, uh, the Dino into Hydreigon, then you would definitely be having a bit more of a um, an argument for overall. But I, I, I initially had Hydreigon on the team, but then I saw the picture of the little chibi guy, the chibi version of the buddy next to him, so I kind of backtracked on that. But I digress. This is my thoughts on this team. What would you do differently if you do anything differently? Would you uh, would you completely change up the team? Or do you like at least part of the team? What would you do? Let me know in the comments below. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you folks next time. Have a good one.